Snagit is a great screen capture technology, but a lot of people don't realize that it can do a lot more. And in this video, I'm going to show you other ways, alternative ways of making videos using Snagit. I'll also show you the updates in the screen capture technology, as well as showing you some of the best ways to share videos. This really is one of my favorite technologies and a technology that I've been using for a really long time. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. If you do want to download and try Snag It Out for free, I'll put some links below in the description where you can download it for free and try it out. And I'll also add some links in where you can buy Snag It as well. And the educational discount is excellent. I'm going to show you a method of making a video that allows you to basically select loads of pictures that you want to turn into a video and then you can add your voice and you can even add the webcam to it and it's very quick and Snagit facilitates this and a lot of people don't realize you can do it. So basically you can select any pictures from your tray okay and if I want to I can of course bring in different pictures by clicking on file and then open and then just choosing any pictures that I wanted to add. Let's say, for example, I wanted this picture here and this picture here. I'm just holding down my control key, so I'm selecting two pictures. I can click on open and I can bring those in. Now, all I need to do is select the pictures that I want to add to the video. And you can not only record the video or turn the, the pictures into a video, but you can add your voice, you can add a webcam. So what I'm going to do now is just holding, I'm going to select the first picture. So I'm going to use that first one. Now I'm going to hold down my shift key and select some more. Two, three, four, five, six pictures. Now I'm going to right click and simply click on create videos from images. And suddenly we get this little kind of, we got a few settings here and you can even see me because I've got the option of having the webcam off. I can turn it off, of course, or I can turn it on. When I turn the webcam on, notice as well that I also have the option of where I want to place myself in the webcam and even the shape, which is really nice. You also even have the background options here. So you could click and choose a different background. If let I say, for example, I want it to be kind of this color here, I could choose a different color and that's going to update onto the screen as well. So let's say this one here. So I've now got a different background and then I've got also the option of recording my cursor or not. Now, What's going to happen, and this is just one little tip, is that you're going to click on the record button and you talk about the first picture and then when you're happy you just click on the arrow key to move forward. So my little tip is click on this button and then immediately click here, but just so that you've kind of activated the tray. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to click on the first button because that's the one I want to activate. Blah, 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 talking about the first picture, use the arrow key blah, 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 talking about the second picture, use the arrow key, blah, 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 talking about the third picture, using the arrow key, blah, 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 talking about the fourth picture, using the arrow key, etc. Now, when I finished, all I need to do is to click on this button here, stop, and the recording is now finished, and immediately I could test and play that video back. So let's play it back. Blah, 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 talking about the first picture, use the arrow key, blah, 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 talking about the second picture, use the arrow. Okay, and you can just see how easy it is. And in a minute, in another video, I'm gonna show you in part two uh, of some of the options of sharing. You could, of course, just save this video now, click on save as or save and just save it as a download, as, a, as an MP4 file immediately, or you've got masses of share options and we'll be looking at those in a minute. Now, I just want to show you another option. So I'm going to click on here. One, two, three, four. Another way of making video from images is to click up here on create video from images. It does almost the same thing, but I just want to take this a little bit further. If you wanted to add a webcam, you can click on the webcam and look here, look how many options you've got. So you can position your webcam. I've got a little circle there down on the right hand, uh, on the bottom right hand side. And if I wanted to include the cursor, I could do as well. 
So I could click on here and that will turn the cursor on. Now you can't have systems audio because of course you're just talking over pictures so there's no need for systems audio. But if I was to do a really quick recording now just to show you, again click on the record button and always click on the first image just so that you're ready to move forward. So testing, 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 one, two, three, there I am on the screen. Use the arrow key to move to the next screen. Yeah, here I am, blah, 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 blah. Next one, here I am, blah, 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 blah. Here I am, blah, 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 blah. Remember, you can pause at any time and carry on recording, click on stop, and again, the video will be created. Now, it's actually doing more or less the same thing as it does in the first one, but I was just trying to make the point that you can be with your webcam. Let's quickly play it and see how it came out. So testing, 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 one, two, three, there I am on the screen, use the arrow. Now you could even carry on with this if you need to suddenly add some more videos onto the end of this or expand it even further, you are able to do that because you can thread videos together. And we're gonna look at that next. Now, when you've got a video already created here, we've got this one here, let's say that we wanted to add to this video, we actually wanna make it even longer. Well, we can click here, and if we click on that, it's gonna open up a kind of finder and show us all the videos, and we can see how long, one minute and uh, 13 seconds, etc. and we can add them. Now, we've already got this video, but we're now gonna add this one, number two, this one will be number three, and this one will be number four. And if I did that, and then I would click on combine videos, it will actually combine those videos all into one new video. So there it is. And this is obviously gonna be a much longer video now. And if you play it through, you'll see that it's really got lots of different stuff in it that we've added onto the screen. So you can combine videos as well. And that's another option that you've got. Now, there's a great screen capture technology within Snagit as well. And if we click on capture here, and we'll just choose region, and we're gonna just share it to none for now because we can share the video to all sorts of places, including put it onto YouTube, etc. We're just gonna do it at the moment, just leave that setting. We're gonna put the webcam on. Now the webcam is really interesting because you choose the webcam you want, but notice now that you, again, you can record in all different types of shapes. A lot of people like the circle, and you can place where you want the recording. And uh, in this particular one, I'm gonna put it on the top right-hand corner. And now if I click on capture, now, if I click on Capture, in fact, what I'm gonna do just to uh, make this is I'm actually just gonna minimize the recorded, the editor, sorry, and I'm gonna go to my website here, and I'm just gonna click on my website and just click on F11, because I wanna go full screen, and I'm gonna open up by just clicking here and uh, opening up the tray at the bottom and get the recorder up on the screen again. So I'm gonna click on capture, I'm gonna mark the area. So in this case, I'm gonna go absolutely full screen, okay? So I'm full screen and it's all getting ready. And now what I can do is just click on this button. Now notice as well that you've also got some nice tools here that you can use while you're recording. Now personally, I don't tend to use them. I tend to do that afterwards, but let's just click on this button and show you. So notice I've also got the um, uh, cursor to be recorded, and also I can record any audio sounds from the computer. We call that systems audio. So it, it offers everything. So I click on this button here, and off we go. And there you can see me up on the corner. So as I'm talking, and first of all, I wanna point out that you might wanna join me on Patreon. So look here, and you can do that if you want to. Now, I wanna point out also that, as well as one, joining me on Patreon, two, you can sign up to my newsletter, and three, you can look at all the content on the website. Notice then you've got access to all these tools as you're doing your recording. Now, as I've said before, I don't tend to do that. I, I add them after, but notice you can. And then when you've finished, when you've finished your recording, you've got a little kind of just down here, you can pause, and then of course, you can click on stop. Now that video will be instantly ready. And if we jump back now to the uh, editor, there's the video on the screen. We can give it a quick test. Really quick break from the video. Please, if you can, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel because it really helps to push my rankings on YouTube. And if you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. We've got loads of content on here. We've got a great section on AI technologies for language teachers. I specialize in making videos to show teachers, language teachers, how to use technology. 
If you want to go that bit further, think about joining the newsletter. There are 12,000 subscribers. You'll get updated with all the latest videos and the free webinars that we run. But also at the moment, if you sign up, you'll get the free 14 part video course in using technology in language teaching. And I basically highlight some of the best technologies I've come across. And most of the technologies that I highlight are free. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. So let's play a little bit of that video back and just see if it worked. And there you can see me up on the corner. So as I'm talking, and first of all, I want to point out that you might want to join me on Patreon. So look here. Notice that that all comes out. Uh, everything, including myself and all the drawing tools, etc. Now, once the video is ready, then you've got a mass of different ways of sharing. One of the most obvious things to do is just to click on file and click on save as and just download that as an MP4 video. That that would work absolutely fine. Yeah, and then you'll be able to play the video. It would be good quality and it will be full screen. But of course, you've got other options in terms of the way that you decide to share that video. And if you look up here on the right hand side, the most obvious ones are that you could share that video, for example, to YouTube. That's something that I do really a lot. Uh, I share it also sometimes to what we call screencasts, which you do get a certain amount of free space on screencasts to put your videos, videos that you make from TechSmith. Screencast is really TechSmith's visit video repository. So you can save your videos up there as well. But also you've got loads of other options like SharePoint and OneDrive and Dropbox and all sorts. So it's really, really easy once you've made a video to then share it with other people, okay? You've even got the option here of a shareable link, okay? Now personally, an option that I really like uh, is to click on share link. Let me just show you this. If you click on this option, what's going to happen is that that video is going to be uploaded onto something called screencast.com. There it is. It's already uploaded. Okay. And if I click on view now, then what's going to happen is screencast.com is going to open up and I will see that that video is already uploaded into the video repository. Now this video repository is super interesting. Of course, people can watch the video now by simply sharing the link. So if you were to click on share and just copy that link, you could share that with to anyone. You can also embed the video, but I'm just showing you that you could share that link with students and then they could watch the video. They can also comment so they could watch the video and say, yeah, this is really useful and leave a comment. You can see I've already kind of done one before and that will be added onto the side. Another thing, obviously they can play the video by clicking here. And there you can see me up on the corner. So as I'm talking, and when they're watching the video as well, you can, of course, go full screen. Now, you only get a certain number of videos. You can't load up that many. I think it's about 25. Oh, first of all, I want to point out that okay. you might want to join me. Uh, but that's a really useful way of starting. Um, and I'm a big fan of, it's called screencast.com. And it's basically the place where you can make videos, sh upload them instantly, share the link, and students can get immediate access to the videos. Uh, really, really powerful and something that I've been using for many years. And even before they had uh, screencast.com, they had other ways of sharing videos. And I've always liked that feature in many of the TechSmith products. Okay, really hope you like that video. And as I said, if you can come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos. Remember, if you want to sign up to the newsletter, there is the 14 part free mini course. There's no tricks. I highlight some of the best free technologies on the internet for delivering language teaching and language learning. And of course, you can also join me on Patreon if you want live sessions with me, if you wanna meet me online and actually have direct training with me, then the best thing to do is to join me on Patreon. And if you click on this video here, you can get all of the information. And finally, if you want to contact me, scroll down, you can contact me on the website. If you want me to do some training with your organization, run a workshop, run a conference, or even if you want me to help you to build content for your online course, which is something I've done a lot of work on, 
or maybe it's because you want to build up a YouTube channel or you just want one-on-one -on -one training in using a technology like Camtasia. I am actually a recommended Camtasia trainer and I do a lot of work in Camtasia. Then you can contact me by just clicking on here and send me an email and I'll get back to you. I'm going to leave now some more content on the screen, some more videos that you might find interesting and thank you very much.